Good morning, Fort McMurray with Buffalo and the rest of the world. You've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre, and as per usual, we're going to start this episode off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. I know that you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. How's it going, you guys? It's Jake White, JJW, uh, coming at you from uh, Neural Toyota in Fort McMurray. Uh, just wanted to say hi and come on down, check the place out. Hi, my name's Richard. I'm the service manager here at Neural Toyota. Hi there, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm here at Neural Toyota. I'm a product advisor. Hi, I'm Cass. I'm the appointment coordinator. Happy to help you. Hey, it's Keith Simpson here. I'm the general manager of Neural Toyota, soon to be Fort McMurray Toyota. Pretty excited for our new dealership. As you've seen, you met all my staff. These guys are all my family. We're here to take care of you. Come on down and be part of our family. And we are back. As you can tell, we are not on the set of the Max City Morning Show. And as you know, I do not introduce my guests. But before we get started, let's give a big shout out to Noral Toyota. Thank you very much for being our ongoing sponsor for the show. Thank you so much. On that note, can you please tell everybody at home who you are, what you're about, and where we are today? Um, hi everyone, my name is Courtney Sweeney and right now we are inside my store called Corridor Shops and Events. Um, we're located downtown at 8233 Manning Ave and we're just getting ready for our grand opening which is on the 29th of October and um, yeah, we've got a lot of cool things going on in here so I'm really excited. Okay, so you do have a lot of cool things in here and I've met some of the vendors so Explain the overall theme of your store. Um, ideally, I was just going to open up like a crystal shop because that is kind of where my business started going. Okay. Um, but then as I got involved with the markets and stuff like that, I realized like what kind of you know, traffic and people that we could meet and bring into um, a space. And right. I just felt like we should do a collaborative store right. that could help, you know, other small businesses like myself who are like-minded, you know, moms and, you know, even, um, you know, some of the artists that are in town and stuff like that kind yeah. of get their face out there and get their products out there without all of the added extra stress of trying to find their own retail space, which is really, really hard, right. especially in Fort McMurray. That's so. right. So you took on the lease for this space and then yeah. there's a bunch of different vendors yeah. that have their, yeah, they, that will so, be placing their things here. Yeah, they're just renting the space, That's um, right. a smaller portion, That's right. with, and then That's they, right. keep, I love it. they keep all the profits for yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah. And I got that idea actually from Lois, who owns Razor's Edge. Um, she okay. actually started doing that at the hair salon and I just really loved that idea more than doing like wholesale right. or doing commission-based sales, right. which I do still do in yeah. town. I have a couple other stores or spaces that I'm in, but yeah. I just wanted to get, you know, try that out. And right, right, It was right. one of the best ones that I enjoyed. So. so as far as yourself and the products you sell, is it primarily crystals? Um, Yes. Well, I have two companies. I have okay, two businesses. I own my own clothing line as well. Oh, so what kind I of also it's called you... um, Threads Canada. Okay. So mostly leggings and sports bras and crop tops and stuff like that. And then okay. in the works, I do have like the men's line and stuff. So okay. it's a little bit on the back burner right now, just because of all of this. Right, um, right, and right. I do enjoy the the jewelry and the gemstones myself a little bit more. So okay. Yeah. So now when it comes to the crystal component, is it like, I, I'm not wearing them today, unfortunately, but like I, I wear crystals sometimes. Is this like quartz crystals? Is it's this just jewelry? All of the things. All of the all things. All of the things. So okay. basically it goes from home decor statement pieces right. to vintage finds. Um, and then of course the handmade jewelry. So we have a few right. different vendors here who hand make their own gemstone jewelry, including right. myself. Right. And then um, my newest involvement is the vintage stuff. So I've okay. been going out and finding some really unique vintage pieces and okay. stuff like that. Where do you like find that. this unique vintage stuff? Are you going to other markets All over, time? garage sales, like garage online, sales. you know, like the thrift stores. Oh, yes. Yep. yep. Okay. Thrifting is like my... Okay. Love it. Well, Tanner likes to collect something. If you uh, ever find it or it comes into your store, he collects Guinness Book of World Records. Oh. 
so food for thought very if you ever see cool any okay books, all right that gentleman right over there sounds good i'd like to get him i have yeah. you got a bunch too i have every year from uh, 08 to 2022 20, wow and then i have 04 uh, 99 and 94. Right. All right, note yeah. to self. So, note to self. I'll be looking on, on so, the lookout. How long have you had your businesses for? I've had mine, Body Soul Beads, um, and beyond for five years. This is my fifth year. Okay. Yeah, and then okay. um, Threads has only been two years. Okay. Pandemic as as, business starting. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Let's do it. That's right. And so with this store here that you started, I know that we're going to be chatting with some of the vendors. How many vendors do you have? One, roughly? I have 13. 13? Well, actually, I have 15, technically. And, um, wow. And yes. you have space for more, or is that, like, capped I, out? Um, no, it's... I'm I'm waiting to get some more shelving because I literally bought out all of the brackets from IKEA for okay. my shelving. Okay. But yes, eventually, like I'm a very visual person, so once I get the shelving set up, then I can get a better idea if I can bring some more vendors in. Right. And also, I have some very large crystal orders coming in, so I okay. need to visually space that stuff out, and then we can get a better idea of okay. how to go about doing okay. things. That's a lot of vendors. Yeah. So how did that happen? How did you reach out to them? How did they know um, about you? How did well, that all come Well, a lot through? of the people that I've met over the last five years have been customers of mine. And then I've just networked that way. And a lot of my friends have been customers of mine or like okay. we've just, I've just met people that I've also grew up here. So I've right. been here my whole life. Oh. So I know a lot of people that way too. All yeah. right. Well, now that you said that, we got to ask the question. <laughs> Me and Tanner have an ongoing battle. We both grew up here as well, born and raised. Yep. What high school did you go to? I went to, okay, <laughs> I went to Father Merck first. Okay. Woof that woof. was about three months. Okay. And then I bailed and I left to Westwood. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 So, he's, he's calm. It, uh, uh, well, alert. Mr. Marr, yeah, we're not going to, yeah. Yeah. He decided I wasn't, could, it wasn't a good idea if I went to comp. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. It's a, listen. It, hey, high school is hard, man. High school is hard. All I'd right. take trying to open a store over high school any day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when you were born, you've been born and raised here. What uh, elementary school did you go so to? So I, we moved here when I was about three okay. and my brother was born here. So I grew up in Beacon Hill and I went to nice. um, Good Shepherd. Okay. Yeah. And don't tell me exactly where, but what part of town are you in now? I'm in Timberley. Okay. Yeah. Timberley. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Beacon Hill is not what it used to be. Well, we actually, the, the fire, we, we moved up there. We had bought, me and my husband bought our first house up there yeah. and um, the fire, we lost everything. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. It's, you know, and it's really sad because for a lot of people, that's still an ongoing thing. But that, for yeah. us, you know, it was probably one of the best things that could have happened to us. Yeah. So, okay. you know, um, and then we also had our first child at that time. So right. we decided it was just easier to move up to Timberley with the schooling and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, mm -hmm. and now you have more than one child. Yes. I saw, I, I saw all of them that day that yes, I came in here. I have three. I yeah. have three kids. Yeah. Well, that, the funny, yeah. like I, I, la I was laughing about it for days afterwards yeah. when you guys were, uh, exchanging car seats oh yeah and i honestly thought i was just like oh maybe they sell car seats here too because there was so many that were moving like no three, no no three i just boosters, got a bunch of kids yeah <laughs> three boosters yeah <laughs> yeah there's seven and under so yeah, yeah it's fun. that's awesome yeah so with the age of the children how what is it because i have a little guy he just turned eight yesterday and so he is just a sponge for oh what yes. the parents are up to maybe yes. like videography or whatever my son definitely is into youtube he wants to be a youtuber yeah. like he's right up in that but do you find he's picking up any of like your traits in regards to the jewelry or like um, the creativity component not so much my oldest yeah. um he's just very on the go anyways yeah. he's always you know he's in the books and he wants to learn about all kinds of stuff like okay. more along the lines of like natural disasters and all the science oh. stuff and he really loves that stuff and right. then my daughter who's my youngest she's more of the creative type the artist kind of thing yeah. so yeah yeah cool yeah. and then my middle son he's kind of like he's in between he surprises me i'm waiting for him to you know yeah. show yeah. You know, so. so they're so young, they're not helping out with any of this setup at this point. Uh, if you mean by like cleaning up, like yeah. I have to clean up a little extra, like that's about that's it. Right, <laughs> yeah. That's right, that's right. They try, they do help with some stuff. They help put together some of the shelving and stuff. Okay, so cool. Yeah. So they're getting involved. Yeah. Now, although you have lots of vendors, 
if there is somebody at home who wants to participate or have some of their stuff here, how do they get in contact with you? How does that whole process um, work? They can send me a message on Facebook or okay. they can email me at corridor.se at gmail.com. Okay. And is there like a certain price point or is that something you discuss um, after you <clears throat> see what their wares are? No, it's basically up to the vendor. So yeah. what I offer is a two foot section of shelving that is about six feet high okay. um, and it's a 105 a month. Okay. And then that way, if they want double, they can have double and it would just be 210. Okay. Now, when it comes to people purchasing it, like let's say... I came in and the, do the vendors always have to be here no. or do they mark the, like how does no. that work? So basically the vendors will give me their inventory and I will put it into my system and okay. I've provided everybody with a barcode so that it oh. is easy peasy. So if I have an employee nice. that I start working here, they can just barcode scan it and it's already in the system and ready to go. And then at the end of the month, I will just pay everybody oh, that's and I'll, and I'll print idea. off their inventory. That'll show what's sold and that's easy. awesome. Yeah. How did you figure that out? Was there something um, you, yeah. How, just, I already yeah. used Square, so okay. I was just kind of like, I already used the vendor application of it for my vendors. And I just figured like this would be a really easy way to add the vendors for tracking. Right. And I just entered in their quantities and it automatically generates a SKU and I just print it. And some of them are here today putting on cool. stickers. Cool. Cause yeah, you're not officially opened yet. Yeah, like, like said, the grand um, opening is not soft happening open. Until, yeah, it's a yeah. soft open. So because okay. my kids are in school still, so I do have to leave at certain times to go and get them. So right. you know, like if people pop in, that's not a big deal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now you said at the beginning of this that you have some of your stuff in other locations of Fort McMurray. Where yeah, is that located? Yeah, so I have my clothing line is um, at Exhale Yoga right now. Oh, I love Exhale um, Yoga. Yeah, and yeah. like I've worked with Helen for a couple of years now. I had my jewelry and stuff in there as well. Okay. And then I also have my jewelry at um, Mindful Elevation. Um, okay. So I've known Jess for a few years now as well. Okay. And then um, I also have up to Chocolates and Candlelight. I have my oh, bracelets wow. and stuff at Melanie's. Fantastic. And then <laughs> I also have my jewelry in Edmonton. Yeah, at, really? Yeah, at a health food store called Health Matters. Okay. And then I also have my clothing in a Pilates studio in downtown Edmonton. How did you line that up? So I actually went, I got invited to a fitness competition um, because I am in the fitness industry quite a bit. Like I do work out and I, well, I haven't lately, but I'm trying to do a show. It's been on my like bucket list. Like one of those um, like... Yeah, bodybuilding show. Okay. Yeah, competition. That's um, my bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fitness competition. And so I've been hoping to do that. And then I got invited, so I got invited to be a vendor at the competition yeah. and I also sponsored one of the winners as well so I brought all of my stuff with me and that's where I met Marty um, who owns studio 124 um, Pilates uh, downtown Edmonton where she is now a master figure pro at 61 okay. um, she's amazing she is yeah. the nicest lady I love her okay. and uh, we decided to just uh, kind of try it out and team cool. up and yeah how did you get into jewelry making so Five years ago, like when the fire happened, I kind of like, you know, we trying to find my niche kind of thing. Like I did personal training for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and then we had my first son. So, you know, he's very busy and trying yeah. to just find something to fill in the space. Right. Um, and then the fire happened and I was pregnant at the same time with my second son. Right. And then it was kind of like, I tried Tupperware and I tried some of the MLMs and, yeah. um, you know, it just kind of wasn't, I'm not a very big social media type person like okay. trying to post all the time right. is not right. I don't really have a lot of time for that I'm more of a people person yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I just decided that I would uh, I found this site that was called Kinsley RML it's a US company that makes um, gemstone jewelry as well and and they made it so that you could buy a bunch of it and, and sell it like mark at, at the markup price wholesale kind of thing right, right. so I tried that um, I found them a bit expensive at the time when they first came out right. and um, it took a really long time to arrive. Like it took like a month and oh, I was okay. like, ah, and then I was looking at them and I inspected them and I was like, I wonder if I could make these. And then I did that and it just started working really well. Like a lot of family and friends at first were like, oh, can you make me this? Can you make me that? And then soon after that, it was, it grew a lot and I had 
beads everywhere and I was making them in my kitchen on my kitchen table and right. um, then people started asking me to source them larger pieces specimens right and then that kind of just expanded from there so Very cool. yeah and then I started getting to the markets and doing that kind of yeah. thing and that went my first market went really really well so yeah. that kind of just expanded wow. it to there yeah okay. and that brings really us exciting. to today right here right now that's yeah. awesome yeah. so this opens oh Tanner's giving me the signal that that's going to die in a few minutes so October 29th October 29th yeah that's 10 to 7 10 to 7 it's a Saturday and so, where yeah. are you located 8233 Manning Ave, uh, Unit B. Unit B. Yes. How did you find this place? Um, I got five minutes, right? Yeah. About, uh, well, a friend of a friend kind of thing. Um, yeah. Me and Carly, who owns Firebag Coffee, um, yeah. we both know the owner of the building, yeah. and we were discussing about, you know, trying to find a space because the market we were in was finished. So, yeah. and this kind of came available, and it, every, all the pieces fell into place because I'd been looking already for a while. So, That's exciting. yeah, something that was a little bit more affordable. And mm -hmm. what are your hours of operation going to be? So right now I'm here from ten till two because um, of the kids, okay. and then um, it'll probably be from ten till seven On the uh, every day. Every day. Every day. Oh. Monday yeah. to Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ten till seven. Yeah. All right. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping yeah, yeah. for. But anybody can log on Facebook or social media or give me a call and see when, if yeah. I'm available or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, listen, before I cut you loose, everybody gets a shameless shout out or plug. Oh, so I've heard about this. I've heard the mic, about this. You got the camera, you got the lights. All right. So I was thinking about who I would like to do a shout out to. And um, I really think. I want to shout out Lois at Razor's Edge because initially, you know, her idea of the whole vendors and the rental side of things, and right. I really, really love that. And I think, you know, that the salon there is great, and yeah. um, I just love her, and it was a great opportunity to work for her. There so. you go. Nice. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you very much for letting us come down and chat Absolutely. with you and the I, other vendors. Here. I greatly appreciate oh, it. Oh, you're more than welcome. Yes, thank but you. We'd love to have you come at the studio. Feel free to come back that. and be a guest yes. again and again and again. Yes, I love that. And we'll, we'll have more conversations, and then Tanner can ask you some of his questions. Yeah, we can talk there, about rocks. There you go. <laughs> rocks for the win. There you go. All right, well, for McMurray Wood Buffalo, the rest of the world, that's been another episode of the Max City Morning Show. Thank you very much for tuning in. Big shout-out to our title sponsor, Noral Toyota, and enjoy the ad from Carrie at Pajuli Rose. Other than that, I hope you're having a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Hi, it's Carrie with Patchouli Rose. Come and check out my new retail location at Corridor Shops and Events downtown on Manning Avenue and come check out all the other local vendors. What a deadly old way to end another morning show. Later, boss. about quenching your ugly thirst.